A lot of attention on social media, and you may be surprised to find out why. Channel 7's Ashley Lunningham spoke with the owner about what the fuss is all about. Ashley. Yeah, the name of this restaurant is sure to turn your head when you first hear it, but I spoke with the owner who tells me it's not what you think. This is the crack house. But it's not what you think. A sign outside the city mall was posted on Facebook, starting a conversation insinuating that it was advertising selling drugs to students heading back to class. How it started was I had the maintenance man put on the marquee to welcome the tech students back um, from break. And some guy jumped on there and was saying that the community, something's wrong with the community when we, they could put up crack house and stuff like that. Ford responded back, setting the record straight. All I'm saying is I'm selling addicting food, so <laughs> that's it. <laughs> the crack house opened in 2019 as a food truck in Dover and just recently moved into the building, but says this is not the first time he's had this reaction. All the time, all the time, especially when I started up, they were like, no way, but you know, I think as people got more used to coming around or hearing word of mouth of how good the food is, that they knew that it was a play on words. Michaela Rolas and Anise Tedford says it immediately caught their attention. When I first heard it, it was like a crack house a restaurant named Crack House. Okay, that's kind of funny. We did kind of go, Crack House? What is that? <laughs> And what is that? But now Tedford and her quilting group come to the mall every Thursday, and they say the food is indeed addicting. We're the crack and macaroni <laughs> mafia. I was going to take some home to my husband, but he might not get it on this trip. <laughs> Now he says the play on words is not just in the title or when you crack open a crab shell. It's also throughout the menu, including crack fish and crackaroni. And he says he cracks up every time he thinks about it. In Russellville, on your side, I'm Ashley Lunningham. Hey, thanks a lot, Ashley. And for the time being, if you visit the restaurant and show them that Facebook post that got so much attention, you'll get a discount on your meal. Be worth the trip. Yeah. Well, the Arkansas Museum of Fine Arts is taking steps.